Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Crystallis, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I don't want to be in Goa anymore, because apparently they are a bit hostile to me. Except for that one misses that was very contradictory, like... The Emperor is the worst, and I can't forgive those who speak ill of him. I still can't get over that statement. It's like, when you say they're the worst, you are speaking ill of that person. So this must be Mount Hydra. Why does that have to be so bright purple? That just hurts the eyes. I think I can make some ice out of that. There you go. Don't have to worry about the lava. Okay, it's so bright and dark here. No, why do I say that? I mean bright with dark colors, yeah. You don't want me here? This is Shadron Fort. I can't let strange people in. Okay, maybe if I'm a different person, maybe then you'll let me in? Let's try this guy. Hello, Stom. Please enter. Then move. Oh my god, I actually have to leave and then come back. And then they'll just reset their positions. That is weird. This is Chiron. People come here to train to be wise men and hide out from Dragonia as well. But even this place isn't safe anymore. Yeah, the Dragonians are planning an attack right now. Hello, how are you? Oh, there's Akahana. On the way here, I lost my wife and children. Well, then why didn't you go back and get them? You're a terrible guy. You're supposed to love your family. Oh, Stom, don't stare at me. I kind of approach you from the side. Oh, apparently these people are training. You are in vain to change yourself in front of me. Uh, okay. Good, you finally made it. We're training these people here. We have a lack of men and are having troubles. Because of that armor, we are losing the battle. Our medical staff can't keep up with the wounded. If you guys were wanting me to come here, why couldn't you just, like, um, tell the guards to let me in? That would have been a bit more convenient. Nufi! Sebu is waiting for you in the back of the temple. See him immediately. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have any water on me, so you're on your own. Sebu must be in this place. Great! You made it this far! Besides the three swords you now possess, the most powerful, the Sword of Thunder, is in the Cave of Sticks. Evil spirits keep us from invading there. Watch yourself. The gate to Sticks is at the top of Mount Hydra. Take this key and go. I have the key to Sticks. How did they spell that wrong? They were clearly writing Sticks properly earlier, and then they just botch it right there in the item description. Uh, let me take a look at my uh, items there. I, I really should buy another medical herb. Magic rings are 800. Uh, yeah, I think I'll buy an antidote as well, just in case. Then again, I don't know why I'm doing that unless I'm trying to save on my MP. You're still as grumpy as ever. No, I did not mean to talk to you. Oh, oh, now they're welcoming. They just saw me coming out of the back, even though they never really let me in directly. They should be like, uh, dude, we kind of dropped the ball there. Alright, so, apparently we have to go to the top of Mount Hydra to find sticks. So we can get that Sword of Thunder. That means we're probably gonna have to battle our way through enemies now. Oh my god! This guy's a ball and chain! I did not mean to use my, uh, third star, I mean, third level attack. Oh, these laser men are gonna be so problematic. Especially since they're gonna keep swinging that at me. Look how much radius they cover! Oh my god, that noise is so grating! If anything, they, at least they give y'all a nice bit of money. 
a nice bit of experience as well. Oh, and I got a fruit of lime. Oh, that's citrus. Okay, iron necklace is really bailing me out here. Oh my god, that's well over 200 experience right there for kill on these guys. Okay, I should be very happy with this. And you know what? I am. Meatwad, why did you melt? Oh, it turned into a red Grimer. Am I even hurting this guy? I think I can only hurt him when he's actually formed. Oh, get... Yeah, I just managed to get the money. I saw another one of those flying creatures, and it's a different color from the last one. Yeah, I don't feel like I do any damage to this monster unless it's popped up like that. Okay, the flying creatures are weak. Maybe they're just older enemies. Where they just have low HP anyway. Should I go this way? You know what, let me check that way out. Morningstar freaks are the worst because not only can they cover so much range, but they make so much noise. And then that's all you hear is a. It sounds like Dumb and Dumber for crying out loud. You know the most annoying sound in the world? That's basically what this is. Okay, so now we got a little tentacle eye over here. I bet you can shoot rays at me. It's not gonna beat me in a staring contest. And fire does not work on those scum. Okay, that's definitely petrification. I mean, why else do you get fruits of lime here? I really like the things they do with this game, like if you're gonna get a lot of money, they actually make the coins very large. Oh, these things can poison you directly! Well, that sucks. Good thing I did buy that antidote. No, I don't want to take any form. I want to take the form of a healthy person, though. Okay, do I have my Sword of Wind? No, now I do. I'm pretty sure I'm skipping a lot of places, though. But I don't really care anymore. Okay, he can't get me from here. His ball and chain can't reach. Nice. That's all. That's just what I need. And this guy, too. It should get to the point that you don't see bats ever again. Or they should at least be giving you more experience. They only give you one. Well, at least they can't hurt me. I thought later on they eventually might. Okay, I think we're gonna be in the clear for now. I don't know if this way is leading to sticks, though. Or maybe I'm just going somewhere completely different. Which is okay, because I mean, I, I do like to explore. Why are these slimes here? These are weak enemies! Oh god, that's a Mimic. Well, at least Mimics are just as weak, technically. You can easily dispatch them. I don't even need charge attacks. Oh my god, these things only give you two experience! <laughs> that was so funny! I can't even reach that. You know what? It'll be a lot easier just to teleport back. I want to go to Chiron, of course. And you know what? I'll go to the inn to recharge. That way I don't spend the much on items. So I gotta retrace my steps to make sure that I'm going somewhere I need to go. Fair enough. I can do that. 
I gotta remember that spot for later, because I have a feeling I'm gonna need another spell to reach that chest. That's right, there's my strategy. Just get kind of diagonal to these uh, lizard men, and I should be just fine. Just don't come in contact with their bodies directly, because that poisons you. They tried. They really did. Just not very hard. And that's why they're dead. That is why you must always give 110%, otherwise you will die too. Okay, that, that does sound a bit mean, but still. I'll recover that. Wow. That's like 24 MP right there. It's way too pricey just for getting rid of a status ailment. Well, at least I don't have to worry about uh, paralysis ever again, as long as I have the sacred shield. Okay, I haven't gone this way. Oh, you almost knocked me right into the poison guy. Okay, I haven't been here. This looks new. Oh, this is where I need the key. The key to see. The door easily opens. Oh. This does not look pleasant. Wait a minute, I got a barrier spell! Okay, it does use a lot of MP, though. So there was a reason for me to get that spell. It saved my life. Now, that looks like an important room over there. What if I went left? It's also important. Oh! Okay! Homing magic scum. Wait a minute. You can only emanate directions. There we go. I made it through. Took a hell of a lot of damage, though. Oh, this is gonna get pretty bad. Oh, I certainly don't want to be that guy. Jeez. Way to make you feel like you shouldn't be here. Wait, why do the skulls have access for eyes? I thought that was only for, like, people with their flesh still intact. Come on, take form. Thank you. You're gonna respawn anyway. You know what? Let's just keep going. Wait, is that a lizard? That is a lizard. And I have no more antidotes, so I have to use a recover spell. Uh, push comes to shove, I got some magic rings. And it looks like I'll be needing them. Oh! I thought that was too good to be true. Well, every mimic I kill gets me closer to affording another one. Oh, magic ring, that is. I think I can use my sword of water right here. Oh, that doesn't work on these guys either? Is it only wind? Oh, god! That just severely drains your MP! Let me use my recovery spell again. Back to normal. That sucks, I'm down to 2 MP. Well, was. So, the green slime drains your MP, and their bodies can poison you. Oh, well, this is gonna be bad if I have to deal with these guys more often, which I do. Can they aim that green slime sideways? Yes, they can. But I think it's only in a straight line. There. Anything to get me closer to the next level. So how are you guys enjoying this LP? I'm actually enjoying this game a lot. I highly recommend it if you're into action RPGs, that kind of thing. Like, this is definitely a very good one. 
I probably wouldn't recommend the Game Boy Color port because, again, you got a smaller screen and it makes some minor changes to the story. Where, if you're familiar with this story, the Game Boy Color one is slightly different. I don't know the details of it per se, but I heard that some people that really enjoy Crystallis did not like the changes at all. And that's entirely okay with them. Maybe some other people really like that one more. Oh, I only went this way for a medical herb. Bony over there could have used that. <laughs> but now he's got X's for eyes, even though it's now a skull. Okay. Hopefully I can find this Thunder Sword soon. Oh, right, right, I need fire to deal with the eyes. Die, eyes of Ganon. You too, Venomoth. Ah, oh, God. Okay, okay, you're a Butterfree. Give it up already. Oh, these things move way too fast. I can't really just stay here and fight these guys. I have to move. Oh, I'm turned to stone. I did not even mean to use the recover spell. It just happened. But I mean, it wears off on its own, which is pretty nice. Do those spores even hurt you? Oh good, there's a platform. Looks like a piece of white chocolate. White chocolate that has no chocolate whatsoever, but it's mostly soybean stuff. I mean, white chocolate is okay, but again, it's not real chocolate. Chocolate's supposed to be dark. The darker the cho chocolate, the more cocoa there is. That's what makes it chocolate, and I'm almost dead. Uh, let me... I was getting on my little chocolate tangent, and then I realized, oh, I'm probably gonna die. I'll walk on the spikes, I don't care. Oh, now there's a th sort of thunder. Oh, I did not read that last bit. You've done a fine job, Nufi. The Grand Puba Azteca awaits you. We will lead you to the temple. I was waiting for you. A lot has happened in the past 100 years. Well, if it didn't, it was a very boring century. You and Messia went to sleep to watch for the end of the world. You each had specific powers that could combat any future evil. Nufi, hurry to Messia. Or Messia, I don't know how you say it. We tried, through our powers, to lead the people towards a good direction. But Dragon used this power wrongly and built an invading nation. Dragon hid the fact of who he was and lured our best four warriors into his realm of darkness. Azteca is not sure of the extent of Messia's power, but Emperor Dragon is trying to harness it to extend his realm of influence. Your lives were mentioned to the people as legends to give them hope. If you don't destroy Dragonia, all will live in despair. Okay, now the real battle begins, and yeah. I gotta hurry to Messia. Okay, yep. Yeah. Looks like we will be heading for Goa after all. But again, there was something to the south of the plains of Goa that I might want to look into later. Probably before I even go to the castle. First, let me invest in some magic rings. I'll purchase another medical herb. And I have too much stuff. Okay. Now I'll go to the inn. Because I have a feeling things are really coming to a close. So, in the next episode, we will be heading on to continue our quest. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching.